How much do we control our own body? Where do we draw the line on what should and should not be controlled? Most people wouldn't want to be deprived of liberty, but don't we need laws to ensure the safety of the population? This is where ethics come into play. What does a person deserve to have? What safety should we have? When is enough liberty? Liberty is defined as equal freedom. Government is put in place to protect our rights, such as liberty. They should not be taking away our freedom too much as to the point of slavery, but we should be protected enough as to still have security. When people are granted too much freedom, it can be used unjustly. A good example of this is in Gaiji's Ring. Gaiji's Ring was a story told by Plato. What happened in the story is a shepherd finds a ring on a giant's finger after an earthquake. He discovers this ring holds a power that makes people act as if he is not around. This makes it so he can do whatever he wants, without consequence. He goes around and does whatever he wants as basically no one can see him. It's like invisibility, but not. Thanks for specificity, Plato. So he manipulates people by listening in on conversations and taking the ring on and off all to get them to send him to see the king, as that's something that's valuable. He goes to the castle to represent the shepherds. He then uses the ring to assassinate the king with no repercussions. Afterwards, he uses the ring to seduce the queen. The reason Plato told the story was to prove that with no consequences, man will act unjustly. With too much freedom, we can't be equal and have liberty. When limiting freedom, there needs to be some good reasons for it. People came up with these reasons and called them liberty-limiting principles. These include the harm principle, the offense principle, moderate paternalism, extreme paternalism, legal moralism, and the social welfare principle. These were decided to be the only reasons freedom should be limited. The harm principle is restricting the freedom to harm others. The offense principle is the restriction on offending others. If your behavior is really bad and offensive, then your freedom to do that should be restricted. Moderate paternalism is restricting a person's freedom to harm himself or do other things to yourself which would be heavily regretted later. This is like your mom saying not to juggle knives because even though you think it's cool, you're going to hurt yourself. Extreme paternalism is strongly compelling a person to benefit themselves. This is like your mom forcing you to go to college instead of making a cool boy band. Legal moralism is restricting someone's freedom because of morality. If it's wrong or mean, then you can be restricted from it. And finally, the social welfare principle is restricting someone's freedom for the good of society as a whole. You are either not free to harm society or obligated to benefit it. What principles should actually be used can sometimes differ. We personally believe that the harm principle is the only principle to be followed. We take a very libertarian stance, believing we should be left alone and not restricted too much. The offense principle could be used to take away a large chunk of our freedom of speech, and we don't much want that. Paternalism is unfavorable because we want freedom to do whatever we want with our lives and not be pushed to do something we don't want to do. It's all about quality of life. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comment section. We'd love to hear your feedback. And remember, stay philosophical. Let's get ethical, ethical. I want to get ethical. Let's get into ethics, yeah. Let me hear the Dunder Mifflin talk. Your body talk. Let me hear your body talk. Woo! All right.